metaphysics can be applied to anything. It can be applied to science, or philosophy, literature, art, economics. It, it can be applied to everything. And so nothing is left out. When you study metaphysics, you could study everything and also from a different perspective, a metaphysical perspective. It helps people to become awake to themselves and to the world around them and to their inner self. Think positively, to think progressively, um, because we know that we make we have an influence on our world. And when we can be positive, we can think positively, then we have a positive influence on the people around us and the world around us too. We recognize that thought and, and energies that are beyond the physical, and our thought when we direct it with intelligence, is the most powerful force in the universe. And so what we do is we help people try to um, develop their thinking patterns and thinking abilities so that they're thinking to, to the highest that they're able to do and, and continuing to improve it. There are truths in all the religions of the world, and so what we are doing is, try, is endeavoring to take the truths from all the religions and the philosophies and put them into a practical application of how to apply your mind in, to anything that you do. The school teaches about consciousness and about raising your consciousness. So people like the Dalai Lama, for example, he, he does use the principles, the metaphysical principles, whether he's aware of it or not. Another person is Mohandas Gandhi. Um, he may not have been aware of using universal principles, but he was because of he was a very powerful man and he turned the, the British around to his friends um, instead of the enemy and he freed India from England so he did use his mind in a way that was for the good of all concerned. It's really important to understand your dreams because your dreams are messages that come from your inner self to your outer self and they're always going to tell you the truth. So if you understand what your dreams are telling you you can learn about yourself a lot and there's a special language that is that the dreams come in that are and we learn that language what that language is. It's a language of symbols, or the language of images, or the language, even the language of function. And once you understand that language, it is like learning a foreign language. Once you understand that language, you can interpret your dreams, and other people's dreams too. I'm aware of, um, I don't think it was a study, I think it was something that they did, certain physicians did with kids who were diagnosed with cancer. And they had them visualize the cancer, they had them visualize the healthy cells coming like Pac-Man, and coming and eating the cancer cells. And the kids who did the visualization did improve. This is more about the still mind, and that means getting rid of all your thoughts. There still is an awareness that you have. It's not like you're a blank slate, so to speak, or you're a zombie, you know, without any thoughts, but you, it's a, it's a state, what you're doing is you're coming into a state of awareness, pure awareness, without any thoughts muddying up your awareness. And when you can do that, um, your mind can become very clear and very still. You can receive, um, you can be more clairvoyant, more telepathic, more spiritual, much more spiritual, much more enlightened if your mind can become still. Most of us walk around with our minds filled with thoughts all day long. And um, it's difficult to, to receive the more subtle energies of, that are around us all the time when, when our minds are so busy. So learning to still your mind is um, one of the things that we teach in the school as well. It's not a major thing, but it's a natural outgrowth of learning to concentrate better, learning to, to listen better, because, and learning to use your mind. Most people use just their brains, and we're teaching people how to use your mind. And when you can use your mind, those telepathic, the intuitive abilities begin to be developed. We don't focus directly on those, we, we focus on consciousness and the development of consciousness. And as you do that, the telepathic, the clairvoyant, those intuitive abilities just begin to come out in you. From dream interpretation, to meditation, to healing, to positive thinking, to working with the universal laws. To think clearly, to think positively, to think progressively, um, because we know that we, make, we have an influence on our world. And when we can be positive, we can think positively, then we have a positive influence on the people around us and the world around us too.